Hey Panther fans, I am Caroline Cannon. I just finished my first day of Panthers practice, but for Greg Olson, what number OTA God. is this for you? Well, Did you think about it? I may have looked this up for you. Oh God. 13. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel old. Huh? How are you I feeling? Feel old. Thir <laughs> but how many do we do? How many actual OTA practices have I done? So over 13 years, we do what, 20? Yeah, I didn't do that math 20 for you. times 13. Is it 260? That's a lot of practices. This was my very first Panthers one, so uh, it was fun to see the guys out You'll there. You'll be at 260 in a moment. Yeah, I, I'll blink and I'll get there, right? All right, we're going to do a little walk and talk here after practice because I want to hear what it was like to get on the field. Your 13th, but for some of these rookies, it was their very first day out on the field with everyone. What was it like? It was good. You could tell there was a lot of jitters, I think, uh, between the defense doing some new things and the offense finally for the first time going full speed. Uh, together with actual defenders on the field. You know, some of the older guys don't get a ton of reps, so it's a lot of new faces, guys doing it for the first time. And, and you can do it on air all you want. When you get out here with the defense and you got guys flying around and the energy and the nerves of the first day, um, it's, it's kind of as expected. Well, the energy was high out here. How was it for you guys? I know the jitters and all of that was here, but just to get back on the field. The energy is high anytime Cam doesn't practice. Oh. So when Cam doesn't the hype man? when Cam doesn't practice, I mean he brings a lot of energy when he does practice, but he's also a little <laughs> distracted by actually having to practice. Yeah. When he doesn't practice, um, there's a lot of back and forth. There's a lot of I yelling. I did. There was some chirping. There yeah, was some he, chirping uh, that he was. He, if not, he up. loses his mind. So that's his way of staying involved in the day and. Uh, we're used to that. Well, I'm still getting to know the team a little bit, so I'm going to put you on the spot. I want to learn your team through you. Okay, so I've got some maybe some perlatives that I, I, I watched and I kind of knew. Okay. I heard the chirping, all of those things. Well, let's go. Uh, who has the biggest personality on this team? Probably Cam. I'm sure you've noticed that in just I, your I, first I practice. I did a, a little uh, bit. Cam's got a, a comment for everything. He's got a nickname for everybody. He's got something to say about everything. Um, he brings a lot of great energy. I think the guys feed off it. I think the guys appreciate it. Um, you know, he's a very unique guy in that aspect and, and he's fun to have around. Who's the weight room hero? Come on, give it to me. You know, Who's the loudest? Who's working the hardest? It's usually the big guys. Like, you know, they have the most weight on the bar. As far as the most energy, you know, like our group, the linebackers typically do well, the tight ends, like that medium skill. Okay. You're big enough that there's enough weight, but you're also not so big that you're tired. So you can like, kind of, there's kind of like a happy medium. You in can there. become the, the hero of these Flex Fridays that's coming out. Like you, no, I'm not the hero of that. I on. try to pick the largest guy in the picture stand and next stand to next him. to him. The first week, so you're I doing picked, it right. You're doing it right. First week, I picked Andre, and he's the biggest guy on the team. And I, I stood right next to him as like the skinny old white guy. It didn't go great. I did hear though that someone got a PR. Can we can we brag trying, on you a little yeah, bit? We're just trying to get Greg older. Wilson's getting a PR. That PR is at 34. That. It just means Come I wasn't on. very strong to begin with. Come on. All right, let's go. Uh, final one here. Who just has a cool story on this team? Uh, whether it's of how they got into this league or just growing up, who should I get to know and get to know their story? Man, I think every guy on the team has an interesting story. I mean, a guy in our room uh, was a record-breaking quarterback. Uh, Jason Vanderland was a record-breaking quarterback at Ferris State. Uh, they call him Fort Cam calls him 14K. He had 14,000 right. yards of offense in college made it as a tight end position switch from quarterback to tight end kind of bounced around and then came here for a tryout last year and stuck and made it through the whole season so you know there's a ton of those stories i think that's what makes the nfl uh, kind of special in that regard um, there's enough positions there's enough spots for guys who do it right that if you're willing to put the time and the effort in, you got a little bit of an ability. They're always looking for guys like that. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being my very first interview here with the Panthers. There's one little story for me. I'm sure I will get to know the rest of the team coming up. But we really appreciate you. Thank Thanks. you so much. Good meeting you. Welcome. Thanks.